President Obama has in common with uh, President Bush and, and, and President Clinton, they could be campaign managers for someone else. They know enough about national politics to do that. The President's point of view, again, with, some just, with plenty of justification is, I can write great speeches, I'm a great political strategist, uh, I'm a pretty good fundraiser, you know. His attitude is I can do a lot of these jobs as well or better than the people I'm, I've hired to do them for me. I think that has that confidence has played an obvious role in his getting elected president twice, but it also has led to a kind of insularity and a kind of, uh, on occasion, failure to uh, consult outside his tight circle. He not only has confidence in himself, but he has confidence in, the, in that close circle and a, and a, and a real dis uh, lack of interest in, in going wider than that. And I think you see in the book uh, a, a president able to get reelected under extraordinarily adverse circumstances given the state of the economy, uh, in part because when he focuses on something, he does really well. But what, what it has been said about him, which is true, is he does just enough to get done what he needs to get done. So in the, in the case of, for instance, courting Bill Clinton, something we write about a lot in the book, a really good, uh, good story, not quite a buddy picture, but a, an interesting story of two famous guys kind of feeling each other out and having their relationship change. He courted him, but he did just enough to get him where he needed to get, no more than just enough. And that has its virtues, but occasionally, if you, if you miscalculate, if you misjudge the, the runway, you may not end up in the place you need to end up. Just enough turns out to be something different than you anticipated, even for someone as smart as the president.